Hey everyone, Katie Fortune here with you with a new episode of Motivation Moment, Share the Moment video series. I am so excited for you to meet my friend Liz today. She is a new mom, she's an amazing wife, and an even more amazing friend. I can't wait for you to meet her. Enjoy. Hey everyone, Katie Fortune here again, and I am so excited for you to meet my awesome friend, Liz. She is amazing and you're going to love her. Welcome, Liz, how are you? I'm good, thanks for having me, Katie. You're welcome, thanks for being here. So, of course. let's tell a little bit about you. Um, if you don't mind just giving a little bio of yourself and so people can get to know you a little bit better. Um, so what, what, who are you, Liz? <laughs> um, well, I am from La Crosse. Um, I just had my first child, my little girl, Evelyn, yeah. um, three and a half months ago. Can't believe she's already that old. It's crazy to me. Um, so I'm a new mom. I'm married. Um, you know, I just love, you know, being in lacrosse, being with family, friends, um, and super outgoing, love human interaction. And so this right now, I'm not digging the hole, not being able to see my friends and family. <laughs> Yes. Yes. And if you don't mind, can you um, talk just a tiny bit about what you do for a living? Um, because that has been very impacted in this time. Yeah, definitely. So I am a sales and event coordinator for the La Crosse Center in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Um, so I plan um, events, whether that is conventions, meetings, weddings, um, different things like that over at the center. And um, so we have been hit hard right now. Um, with COVID, um, it's definitely a struggle. Um, a lot of events are being canceled, um, not just for us, but um, in our community and also around the United States and the world. Um, so that is a struggle right now for a lot of people in um, my industry. Yes. Well, you kind of hit right on the head right there with a the struggle. I was going to ask you about struggle. So that's awesome. But yeah, you're, you're totally right. And I just think that it's so interesting. Um, and that's what I wanted to bring in this video series is for people to connect and have um, a little bit of insight and in what other people are going through. So do you guys, have you seen any other um, struggles or things that you're like, wow, I never expected this to happen during, because we never thought this was going to happen. I never would have been expected in a million years that we would be here staying at home, not being able to go see people. So is there anything that like comes to mind for you other than the events and your work that you just talked about? Yeah, so struggles for me is like, I am just like a huge um, person, like I love human interaction, whether that's um, going to coffee with friends, um, having dinner, just everyone coming over, doing bonfires, different things like that. Um, being able to spend time with my family on the lake, we're huge, um, family oriented, we love to be together, um, big water skiers, so doing all those things. So this summer and not knowing where all that stuff is going is a huge struggle. Um, of whether or not we are going to be able to um, be together. Um, the other struggle that we're coming into is my sister just had a baby here. Um, I know, uh, <laughs> the beginning of April, and I haven't gotten to meet her yet. So, um, you know, that's hard with both my husband and I having to work. Um, we're not able to meet her yet, which I totally get and understand, but it's also one of those things that make you sad. So we use this great world of technology to be able to do on FaceTime, you said picture messages and all of those things, which, you know, help, but it still doesn't make it the same. Um, please, please tell everyone what video you just sent me this morning of little Evelyn. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yesterday for the first time, she rolled over. It was the cutest video, you guys. Oh my gosh. So adorable. And she did it and she, she's tough and she's awesome. And I just think it was so cute, but I have to say, um, what was really interesting about your journey from a friend seeing this, um, is that you, um, had to go back to work mm -hmm. right when all of this started getting crazy. And yeah. I remember having a lot of phone conversations with you and I'm sure that was, I mean, that was a struggle for me to hear that from you. I'm like, wait, what? You have to go, you have to go back to work now. And Evelyn has to go yeah. to work here and she's how much old? Like I was like, <laughs> It was, yes. So that is, um, it's so, it's so 
it's so real. And there's a lot of people going through the things that you're going through, but not that it, that makes it feel any better or anything, but I just feel like that connection and knowing like, oh my gosh, you know, Liz went through that too. And we're in this together, you know? So um, thanks for sharing that. And yeah, I'm so excited that your sister did have her baby. It's so amazing that you have, you both were pregnant and you have little, little girls, correct? Yes. Two little girls, little girls that are three months apart and they're going to grow and oh, I cannot wait, cannot wait for them to meet and hang out. And I can't wait for the baby pictures of them together. <laughs> oh, right. We already have some matching outfits. It's perfect. <laughs> Um, so what are some positives and things that you've taken out of this time? Um, cause you are working from home. You are able to do that, which is awesome. Um, I know your husband is in construction. He's on the road, um, because that is an essential business still. Um, so, but what are some of the, the positives and things that you're grateful for that you've seen out of this time? Um, this time of th this different, interesting time we're living in. Right. Um, so one of the things positives that have come for me through all of this is, yes, I was going to have to be able to going back to work um, right when all of this got crazy. Um, and Evelyn was only eight weeks old at that time. So that was um, a struggle for me. But then on the positive, when we did get to start working remote, so getting to work from home, I get to spend more time with her, which is amazing. And so, um, she's now three and a half months old. So I got an extra right now four weeks basically with her and it's been amazing to watch her grow and see all those things you know like getting to see her roll over for the first time yesterday um it's some of those moments that like you can't take for granted and you um you cherish them so much you know you get to see her grow I get to work I get to hit um while she's playing um we'll get to do some snuggles during the day you know all of the things but you know that's one of those positive things that I have taken from this it's that one-on-one -on -one with her and it's so meaningful to me and um, means so much. Yes. I am going to tell you guys, you're going to be all jealous of me, but Liz FaceTimed me this morning and I got to see little Evelyn wake up and she is the most adorable little girl and her little smile in the morning. It like, but here's the crazy thing. I was just thinking about this. Like I would not have seen that like in normal life before. All no. Of, right. Like, <laughs> you wouldn't have just randomly like FaceTime me and said, Hey, watch my child wake up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. but now that we're like doing technology so differently and we're really utilizing it in different ways, it like gave my, my heart, like so much warmth when I, you're like, Hey, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go wake her up. She's awake. Come with me. And I'm like, okay. Like it was so cool. I'm not in your house at seven 30 in the morning, you know, to go see her. So I think it just, that was so special and exciting. And um, for me, at least, and I know you and I've talked about this, but I, you and I are very similar. We're always on the go. And I feel mm -hmm. that, and we, again, we've talked about this, so that's why I can talk about it. But like this time has really forced both of us to slow down and take each and every single moment for, not for granted, and take it and like love it and cherish that like especially when will comes home i'm sure you guys spend time together with evelyn so he can be around her because he's not at home every day so i think that's just so right. special and um so so wonderful um and i i really appreciate you and um your insight do you have any other last things that you'd like to to say or anything um during this crazy time i mean we're in this together girl so right right yeah like, i think it's just important to um you know, know that you're not alone, that everyone is kind of at the same point. Everyone, you know, we've been in this day at home for how long now? Everyone's kind of getting stir crazy, but taking those opportunities of, you know, whether that's FaceTiming, take a video, um, whatever it is, and send it to your family because you know what? You may not be able to be with them right then and there, but think of the positives um, now. Like 20 years ago, you won't be able to take a video like this and FaceTime them and do all of those things so they can have those real-time interactions. So that's one of those amazing things. And it's super great for like my family, um, Will's family, they're spread out all over the United States. So it, it makes it really nice to be able to, you know, send a video, take a picture, um, FaceTime, all of those things. And it make it kind of takes away of being so far away. Yes, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you so much for being here. I had, <laughs> excuse me, that's my, I ran in the morning cough in the cold. <laughs> I am not sick. I am not sick. It was cold oh, no. this morning. Um, so um, I appreciate you so much, Liz. Thank you so very much for being here. And 
as always, everyone, less hate, let's go motivate and connect with your families, send text messages, send videos, get on Zoom, spend time like Liz and Will do with their families all around the country. I love y'all. See ya. Wasn't she awesome? She is so wonderful and I enjoy her so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Give Liz some love. And as always, less hate. Let's go motivate and have a wonderful day. See ya. Hey everyone, Katie Fortune here again. And after a very minimal break, I have my first guest. This is not correct. I'm going to start that over. Hold on. I just want, I, why can't I just keep it simple? Okay. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Hey everyone. I'm really excited. <laughs> God dang it, Liz. Okay. All right. We're good. Cut. We're starting over. Start. Okay. Ready? And go. Oh my gosh. She is getting so big. <gasps> Hi. How are you? Oh, hi. Yes. You're so cute. Yes. Oh my gosh. She's so smiley, Liz. I love her. Right? 